You know, March is Contemporary Art Month, and in celebration, the Autism Treatment Center will be holding its second annual Art for Autism event tomorrow. It will feature works of art by artists with autism and a whole lot more. Here to tell us all about this are Cynthia Hamilton of the Autism Treatment Center and artist and author April Love and Jonathan McWhorter, who is also an artist. So tell me about this event. How did you come up with it? So this is great. So one of the um, shop owners at La Vallita and Solace with Bees Art Gallery contacted us last year and said for Contemporary Art Month, I'd like to do something that benefits um, the Autism Treatment Center and artists with autism. So we pulled it together mm -hmm. and it's going to be um, at La Vallita in Maverick Plaza tomorrow from 12 to 5. And it features artists with autism um, and there's a variety of mediums, there's painting, there's sculpture, there's photography, it's just a wide range of art. Um, that we want everybody to come out and see. And so when people purchase mm -hmm. books or any of the items there, the money then goes back towards autism treatment? So the artists receive 90% of everything they sell and we have them donate back 10% to help us cover the cost of the event. But it is primarily to benefit the, um, the artist. It is not a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. It is really to highlight and showcase the artist. And it's helping them out and showcase their talents. April Love. You are an author and an artist. Yes. Tell me about this process for you. What does this, this, this exhibit at this show mean to you? Uh, this gives me a chance to be out in the community and interact. And I probably would not have this chance without this because with autism, socially, I have difficulties. Mm -hmm. And so this gives me a, where I'm more accepted as I am and it gives me a chance to showcase who I am as a person and as an artist. Well, April, all I see is a heart <laughs> in, a, in a normal person standing in front of me. Thank you. So what, what, what kind of books and art will you have out tomorrow? I oil paint, and so I have several paintings here. Um, and I also write. I have two books published. They're Christian fiction. One um, deals with things that have happened to me being a survivor of um, kidnapping and rape and then the other is uh, allegory of what it's like to be autistic and being live in two different worlds at one time. Amazing stories, <laughs> amazing. I can't wait to take a peek <laughs> at it. So Larry, you also do art as well? Jo Jonathan. Jonathan, I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm sorry for renaming you here. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Jonathan, you do uh, art as well, right? Mm -hmm. So tell us about what you're going to contribute tomorrow. I don't know what to say. <laughs> so tell us about your piece. Tell us, tell us about one of these pieces. What do you do there? What do you like to sculpt? I sculpt sea creatures like dolphins and turtles and whales. You love, do you like dolphins and whales? Uh-huh. Is that your favorite thing? Yeah, and turtles and fish and sharks. Right. Mm -hmm. How do you make them? With my hands. With your hands, okay. And you have some examples there. So tell me about the examples there on the table. Dolphins serving the waves, and two dolphins kissing, and a turtle though going on shore. Those are so nice. What are they made of? Made of clay. Uh-huh made of clay. They are really nice. I love those colors. So will we see more people like the artists that we have here? How many people do you will you have that? So we have about 17 artists who mm -hmm. actually have autism and they range in age from mm. 6 to 50. Right. Um, we have a six-year-old who does photography, amazing photography with his mother's cell phone. Um, we have another seven-year-old who does landscapes, a big fan of Bob Ross. We have a 13-year-old who is also a big fan of Bob Ross and does sculptures who just blows everybody away with his level of talent. So it's, um, you know, we have some folks that are into anime drawings. And so mm. whatever your taste, whatever your budget, we're gonna have something for everyone. This is really good. I really like this. So let's show folks how they can come out and participate. Art for Autism exhibit and fair. It's at Maverick Plaza at La Vallita at 411 Vallita Street, Sunday, March 10th from 12 to 5. And this is the best part. The event is free. free. Right. We love free 99. 
Just come out and support these artists. These are great stories, great things. I love everything that I see here. Thank you all for joining us this Saturday morning, and we'll have more news in just a moment.